Beamers presents the bloopers. This is my friend Annika, and she is from the YouTube channel. I put my hand up. Do that again, because I went like that. <laughs> and that's the intro. Shake your little money maker. That's right. <laughs> I don't think that's how people pose usually, but. Ooh, yeah, girl. When people ask what's wrong with you. Yes, and I have a favorite <laughs> yeah. one that stuck. I was in Korea and I had a shoulder brace on and I was wearing a really cute dress and mm -hmm. it was in this amazing park that we'd all go to called Free yeah. Park in Hongdae. And this guy was asking like, what happened to your arm? And I said, I dislocated it. And he was such a freaking jerk about it. He's like, oh, we're curling your hair. So I said to him, actually, I'm a professional alligator wrestler. <laughs> and I looked him straight in the eye and he looked at me straight in the eye and he's like, there's no way. And the people beside me went, no, it's true. Yeah, that's why we're taking photos with her because they were taking photos yeah. with me. They go, we follow her on YouTube. And I'm like, yeah, I'm like, I Amazing. was wrestling an alligator and it was just like whipped back. And you know, they're really powerful. I mean, you've wrestled alligators before, right? <laughs> and he's like, no, you that's happen? crazy, man, that's crazy. <laughs> I wanna show you guys how I put on my rib brace. Now, technically this is a back brace. I've also seen it online for women that have just given birth and they're trying to get like their stomachs back together because their bodies have been broken apart from holding another human being in it. Anyhow, so I wanna show you guys how I put this one on. Uh, this one has like a two step sequence. So it's got these little outside bands here. Um, these ones will make it a lot more fitted and they are like loaded with elastics on the inside that are really hard to pull. So they're not like easy stretching ones. And then the outside one is another one with Velcro on it. You can buy them just like this without this extra bit. But as I said, this is for my ribs. So I take the two of them and I Velcro them together because they will get stuck when you're trying to put it on and it will freaking really tick you off. Then there's usually a curve on these where you can decide if it's gonna go over your backbone or like the upper area. And if you ask me which way is up and down, I don't know. So I'm gonna put this on. Now what you need to remember is that the tighter you make this, the other ones on the outside are gonna kind of double that. So you don't want this to be too tight or you'll be like choking for breath and air. So what I'm gonna do is breathe in like a really good deep breath through my nose and through my mouth. And then I'm gonna close this up and it's gonna be a pretty gentle close where I can kind of fit a finger underneath it. And you want it to be underneath if you're wearing a bra, it's gotta be under the cup part, which is why I was saying the soft bras can be more helpful regarding the pain of the bra rubbing into you. But anyhow, put it about there. I'm gonna close this side and I'm just gonna breathe in. Okay, and now I'm just gonna be like a normal breath. Just push that across. Okay, so I can see that like right now it can kind of crumple a bit. I can fit like a finger in on each side, but I don't want to fit tons of fingers in because then it's not doing anything at all. Take this one here, I'm gonna bring them around. This is a bit tougher for me lately because of my hand problem, but I've finally been able to put it on lately. They have to be pulled with even strength. If you don't pull them with even strength, then you end up having one side tighter than the other, and then that can sublux the other side of your ribs. FYI, found that one out the hard way. So you have to use equal strength to pull it out and then kind of latch it down on the Velcro. For me, I know how far in it feels and if I'm comfortable with it, if it hurts right away from the get-go, like it feels too tight, then you have to take it off or it will only get worse throughout the day because you're gonna eat, you're gonna drink liquids, it's gonna expand. So I'm gonna pull this out a little bit. <laughs> okay, maybe about there. Okay, that's better for me. And if you're wearing a soft bra and you have big boobs and there's no support in these things, doesn't matter because you're basically wearing a corset. So it's like a kind of win-win scenario when you walk around in like a t-shirt with a soft bra and one of these on. Hot tips, you're gonna wanna wear clothing that can uh, expand a little bit because if you are wearing this underneath it, it's gonna like add an extra layer of sweaty, sweaty, hot, hot. So if you wear something skin tight, you will get like a really obvious sweat band where this is exactly. I've also discovered that some materials will snag and like tug on the Velcro bits on the corner. So if you're wearing it with something that's like super tight, it might like slowly hike the dress up from just like stomach level. So there's a whole bunch of things that you need to play around with for your style when you're using one of these. Personally, the ones that you saw outside are my favorite kind of go-to looks. And, um, and that's all, that's my story. If you guys have any hot tips about what to do for your rib braces or why you're wearing them, please share in the comment section below.
Now, most of the time, I just tell people I have a sports injury. Yeah. Or I've injured myself from mm. something sporty Actually, related. I have told people that I just had a really wild night. <laughs> this was people I had met the day before and I wasn't using my wheelchair, then turned up the oh, next no. day using my wheelchair. And they're yeah. like, what happened to you? And I was like, just had a really wild night last night. It was great. <laughs> Did you ever tell them? Yeah. Um, I'm too nice. <laughs> so I actually changed like three times in a park because this outfit is so easy and versatile to work with. I really like using these kind of like baggier crop top hoodies because you can actually have your rib brace on underneath. So if you look here, I have my rib brace and what looks like wiring, but that's my mic. And you can't really see it on top of the tank top that I'm wearing, which is keeping it from hurting my skin. And then when I put this on top of it, it kind of helps the cinch, looks kind of fitted. And then you can wear a crop and then, you know, some kind of a pant or short or whatever you want on top of it. And I think it's really quite flattering, it even gives you a waist for a bit. Uh, and the second thing is that I'm actually wearing a knee brace underneath here. I find that really baggy pant but extremely funky ones that you can wear with like a plain tank top are fantastic for hiding your knee brace. Like some days you wanna go being like, yeah, I've got a knee brace on and then you get peppered with a million questions and then you have to answer them very vaguely like, I had a sporting accident or water skiing in France, whatever thing I make up because I'm too tired to explain EDS. Sometimes I just want it covered. So I cover it on up, but it's not just a baggy pant for the sake of being baggy. It's a very like talkable pant. You know, like, where did you get these from? Like, these are crazy. And I think it kind of like adds a new flair to wearing a pair of baggy pants. Bye. How do we end this? We just <laughs> We just wave. We do, we do this. This is the ending. <laughs>